me and Paul standing outside Bookies, you know, big bag packet and all that, and I'm pocket and all that, you know what I'm saying? Huh? Two big, big geekers come running out of the bush, you know, and they come running at me, and they're like, Oi, Dave, Dave, and I go, Bang, hit one of them, he's dead, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> so I'm nuts at him, I've run to the floor, running away, guess what? Man, these wallets, mate, you know, another big packet later on, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hey. mate, 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 Bill, where are you going, Bill? Bill! Bill! Where are you going, Bill? Don't get that smoke up, son! That bloke's a bloody crackhead. This is what we have to part up with around here. This is their stay. Full of dickheads trying to crush a few heads and cause some trouble. We're all about in the group because they ain't hard enough to stand on their own two feet. But they're just one ingredient. Ah, oh, the teenage mums. Buying bags and drinks instead of feeding their kids. Poor girls ain't got a clue. But at the end of the day, you do what makes you happy around there and what helps you get by. Even if it does mean dealing dope, it's a great way of making money. As long as you don't get caught, that is. And some people use others to make their money. Just like my mate Steve. Supplying high quality females since 1994. And it's a shame, really, because I don't feel like I can do anything about it. Gunshot. But then again, that's just the way it works around there. And it don't know that I'm stuck with idiots like this who I'm meant to call my mates. And then every now and again, some prick wants to pull one over on me. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and each to their own. But I'm trying to get out, and every dog has his day. But this day, just ain't mine.